Well, hurricanes have become more dangerous in recent years as climate change becomes more and more prevalent. So to break down the relationship between the two, I want to bring in uh, Gabrielle Vecchi. He's a professor of geoscience at uh, Princeton University. Um, thank you very much for joining us. So for all these people out there who don't want to talk about climate change, we're not going to talk about what, cause, what causes climate change. But I don't think you can sort of argue against the fact that climate change is having an impact on the intensity and the frequency of hurricanes. Can we talk about that connection? Well, I mean, I, I also think you shouldn't shy away from talking about the causes of climate change. Mm -hmm. We've known for 40 years uh, that increasing greenhouse gases uh, should lead to a warming of our planet. And uh, we're very clear that the warming that we've seen is in large part due to greenhouse gases. Mm -hmm. In addition, uh, we know that when you warm the ocean, uh, you provide hurricanes with more energy. Uh, hurricanes draw their energy from warm ocean waters. And so there's a connection between a, the, the greenhouse-induced global warming and increasing intensities and, and, uh, of hurricanes. In particular, uh, we saw in Ian, and we've seen it in a number of storms recently, a process which you call rapid intensification. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the storm, uh, you'll go to bed at night and it'll be a category two. You wake up in the morning and it'll be a category four. Uh, this is a, a process that is being made uh, more frequent in part uh, due to global warming. Uh, and in addition, uh, as you warm the planet, you melt uh, land ice, you uh, expand the ocean that raises sea level. And so it brings the edge of the ocean closer to our built environment. And then the final way in which uh, warming planet uh, impacts uh, hurricanes is by making them wetter, um, in part uh, because a warmer atmosphere can hold more moisture. We expect the peak rainfall from hurricanes to continue to increase as the planet continues to warm. So, Gabriel, I remember seeing sort of the temperature of the water in the Gulf. I think it was even right after Ian barreled through. And it was in the 80s. It was like bath water. And I, I thought to myself, I'm sure the temperature goes sort of up and down in the Gulf of Mexico in particular. But because of climate change, are we seeing sort of the, the average temperature being higher all year long or that up and down moving at a different rate? Can you sort of talk about what's happening in the Gulf in particular? Well, in, in the Gulf in particular, there's always variations in temperature. Uh, there's, there's these things we call eddies, which are sort of circulating features that tend to be either warmer or colder than the surrounding water. Mm -hmm. um, and those are there and have been there and will continue to be there. But the overall temperature is increasing. So the, the warmth of the warmest parts and uh, is increasing, as is the warmth of the coldest parts. Uh, so overall, the temperature is increasing in, in the Gulf of Mexico. So then what do communities do? What do they need to do to prepare for these worsening hurricanes? Well, I think right now the communities that have been impacted by Ian really need to focus, of course, on, on uh, recovery. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and, but as we recover, uh, I think we, we in, 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 in all communities that can be affected by cyclones, by hurricanes, we need to take a, a, a proactive view um, of the danger. Uh, Ian, uh, unfortunately, highlights really the, the risk that we run. And so we need to uh, be mindful of where we site our infrastructure, mm -hmm. how close we are um, physically, vertically to the to where water could come in. Um, and and uh, I think uh, it, it, we are not living in, in the 1970s anymore, which was a historic lull in hurricane activity. We are in, in, in a relatively active period and uh, our, our plans need to reflect that. If we want to thrive, if we want to be able to enjoy uh, this, these beautiful places, we need to um, really be mindful of the risk from hurricanes. Yeah, Gabriel, I think that's a really good reminder. Everyone wants that, you know, that beachfront property, but it means more and more people are increasingly moving to areas that are at risk. Uh, Gabriel Vecchi, thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome.